Works on. Check on two, two. Yo, two, two. Hey, hey. I think everybody's love deep down is doing a rock and roll concert. It's about a half hour before it's Billy Joel's water. Giant Stadium concert. The fans begin to fill the seats, and lighting designer Steve Cohen gives the spotlight operators their assignments. Spot one on Joe, Billy. Joe. Joe. I'll talk to them before and tell them basically what's going to go on, and then they wear headsets throughout the show, and I then call the rest of the cues. The technicians tune the instruments up to the last minute, even the drums. Heat and humidity changes the tuning all day long, just like with the guitars. As showtime nears, the lighting crew begins to panic. Explain for me what, what the problem is. Okay, we've got two spotlights up there, and they're tripping fuses at the moment. Showtime is like oh, now. Sorry. That, sorry, every time you climb that ladder now, you're it's like pressure. The problem grew. Not only were the lights trouble, but the intercom system went down, cutting off ground to spotlight communication. The band waited. The crowd waited. And the production manager demanded answers. What are you doing? What's going on out there? But the show must go on, and it did, minus a few lights. And when the piano man hit the stage, the fans didn't have a clue that anything was wrong. Billy considers his crew as important as the performance. When we're on stage, it's their show. They're presenting us. Every time the audience goes crazy, there's a part of that that I take home with me. And there's no thrill like that. People wonder, you know, how can you still get it, get up for the show, you know? But I do. Every night, I really get excited. Some crew members do get a chance to perform on stage, singing the chorus to Good Night Saigon. <laughs> The musicians not only trust Ricky Chainsaw LaPointe with their guitars, they trust him to keep the stage safe. See, we have problems with beach balls getting thrown on stage, and I really don't like them a lot because they tend to knock guitars over and interfere with things. I depend on them a lot. I mean, you see all this stuff hanging here. I mean, somebody messes up, and it could be dangerous. That's why I like working with these guys. I know we're safe. I know there's a lot of security. Backstage, or in this case, under the stage, you can see how this busy crew holds the performance together. Dave Hoffbauer handles the percussion instruments, as well as Liberty DeVito's drums. He just bashes the stuff out every night. We go through about two dozen drumsticks a night. The snare drum usually lasts two nights, and the tom-toms last two to three nights. This backstage view is extremely rare. In fact, even those with backstage passes are not allowed where our camera ventured. Posers, hey, people that think pose, they're important pose. and aren't. That's nothing. And why do you have these signs posted at every entrance to To keep your... people that aren't allowed under the stage out from under there, because we're working under there, and all they do is come in and get in our way. The people who have been around longer sometimes have the edge over even the musicians, because the road guys are the vets. You know, the new guys are the rookies. That's the way it works in any team. It's a team. It's a good team. Yeah, we made it to Giant Stadium, so we're in the majors. <laughs> At times, Billy really puts his technicians to the test, like on the first day of this tour, when Billy broke nearly all the black keys off his piano. He does the song Extremes, and he kind of went to extremes on that song. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen anyone break, break uh, sharps like that. And I just had to hot foot out with the, uh, the super glue <laughs> during the show and hope that he didn't get on his fingers while he's playing. That would have been a nice effect, wouldn't it? <laughs> Another person backstage who the crowd strains to get a glimpse of but rarely sees is Billy's own uptown girl, Christy Brinkley, working on her home video collection. Despite Billy Joel's staggering success, he told me he never consciously wonders why while on stage. But in quieter moments, yeah, there's a lot of head shaking that goes on. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, what are those people doing here? But you know what? If, if that thought occurs to someone in the middle of the show, they're in big trouble. <laughs> the concert over, Billy and the band take off. But the work's far from over for the crew. Before the fans have even left, the mad scramble to break down the stage begins. 
Number 15. Unplug them and start rolling them up. I'm gonna put this steel in there. Carry two pieces at a time. Here's your uh, replacement quick. The local stagehands work through the night alongside the band's crew. And by the following morning, traces of the concert had nearly disappeared. Slack! This stage, which took four days to set up, comes down in just one day. Meanwhile, another steel crew in another city is setting up yet another stage for Billy and his band. Trying to go home now. <laughs> How about that? I, uh, we've actually made a career out of this, haven't we? And what a career it's been. Billy and the band are now in Europe. They'll then head to the West Coast, fly off to Japan, Australia, New Zealand, New Zealand, and maybe Hawaii. And who knows, maybe even make it back to this area before he wraps up the Stormfront tour in early April. Huh. We don't know that for sure, but uh -huh. it's a possibility. Would be nice. I'm yeah. a very, very big Billy Joel fan. We assume that he's such a nice, kind, sensitive guy from his lyrics. Did you get the impression that he's really like that? I really do. It maybe sounds a little bit cliche, but he is truly a very nice person, very cooperative. Yeah. We had uh, much greater access than I ever expected. Yeah, I was due struck to his by that. Friendliness. Yeah, it was, uh, he was it's very, incredible. very nice. By the end of 